right, so in this video today, we're going to focus on how to deal with a choke from the mount position. Now, as a BJJ black belt, dealing with mount and somebody that takes mount or back are two of the most difficult positions to deal with. So what we're going to show you today is a choke variation, how what we do, we do it in our Krav and in our BJJ program. What I want to try to make, make sure is that they can't punch me, right? So if I ended up in this position, there's a lot of things that happened wrong for her. She should have probably tried to prevent me from getting here in the first place. We could be adding strikes. That's a whole different subject. But today we're just dealing with the choke. What's important is that she uses her hips, that she really bridges up, and then she's going to pray. She's going to bring her arm straight up to release my hands. Now, if I'm just doing the choke where I'm sitting back here, it's not going to work. It's where the person's really putting the pressure down, leaning into the choke. So now when she bridges up and prays, it's going to release my hands. At that same time, once my hand hits the ground, she's going to wrap over and pull that in. So I have a hard time getting my arm back. She's immediately going to post right into my armpit over here, which is going to help her do the upa. And then she's going to cut on this 45 to bridge and roll me over. Once she gets to this position, her thumbs are going to go right to my eyes immediately. She's going to do what we call a spike elbow straight down. She's going to hit the groin, pop up, trace the legs on the way out. So I can't necessarily up kick her in the face. So from this side, so again, I ended up here. I have the choke. She bridges and prays, wraps that arm, posts into the armpit. She's going to bridge and roll this direction. Immediately thumbs go to the eyes, spike elbow, hit the groin, trace the legs on the way out so I can't up kick. Now, I prefer to wrap the arm. I know more like traditional grab does more of like the plucking. So she comes out and she does the plucks. Sometimes it can release the hands and she didn't really get me off base where I can start out pounding on her. So I prefer more where she bridges up, releases that hand so I can't get that out. Hopefully you guys like that. Thanks.